Good morning, animal fans. Today, we're going retro with our animals list. Retro video games, that is. And we're going to discuss the top five fictional animals from classic video games. For this list, we're limiting ourselves to animals from the 70s, 80s, and maybe a little into the 90s. So if you hope to see Angry Birds or the Minecraft horse or something, then you're just going to have to wait for another video. Here we go. Number five is Frogger. Frogger is an arcade video game made by Konami in 1981. The object of the game is to direct frogs to their homes one by one by crossing a busy road and navigating a river full of hazards. Possibly the most frustrating game in any arcade, this game revolutionized the art of crossing the street. It sold 20 million units worldwide and is still part of pop culture. And an honorable mention for Battletoads, who sort of resemble frogs but have no trouble crossing the street. Number 4, Centipede. Straight out of the golden age of arcade, Centipede is a fixed shooter arcade game where your player is menaced by a fast moving ominous creature. This dastardly arthropod isn't alone in his mission to take your extra lives. And quarters. He hurls mushrooms, fleas, spiders, and scorpions in your direction. All in the name of gaming fun. Number 3, the Koopa Troopas, or Turtles, from Mario Brothers. Although you may argue that these are some kind of tortoise, we're not going to get too picky about it. These guys were in the original Mario Brothers game, Super Mario, and dozens of other spin-offs and sequels. Such a humble beginning for a character whose lineage produced the dreaded blue shell in Mario Kart. Evolution at work? I'm sure Charles Darwin would be impressed, or something. Number two is Donkey Kong. He is the man, or ape, or gorilla, that launched Mario's career. Known for throwing barrels at tiny plumbers and stealing their girlfriends, this Angry Gorilla's franchise has sold over 40 million games worldwide. And he's been a regular character in dozens of games in the enormously popular Mario franchise and his own franchise. I still love him in Mario Kart, although Funky Kong was a good addition too. But why was he called Donkey Kong? I know that monkey! His name is Donkey! Despite many rumors, Shigeru Miyamoto, the game's inventor, insisted he used donkey as a word to convey stubbornness and Kong to convey the image of a gorilla. So, stubborn gorilla. Makes sense, I guess. Sega! And number one, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic had a series of video games, toys, and cartoons all named after him. He was also Sega's answer to Super Mario. The company requested a character capable of selling 1 million games. Truth is, he sold 15 million games in 1991 alone, and has sold about 90 million as of 2018. Sonic may be the least realistic of the animals on this list. Most hedgehogs I know are slow and don't carry around nearly as many gold rings as you'd like them to. But it is a video game. So there you go, animal fans. That was our list. Do you think we missed any cool characters? Should we have a part two with more modern animals? Leave your comments and any opinions below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, my brother Ryan and I have a small gaming channel called Back to the Game, where we focus mostly on playing retro video games, sometimes a little Minecraft and Overwatch. But it's a small channel, it's a lot of fun, and we'd love to have some new subscribers, so check it out. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not already, because it's a lot of fun. And we'll see you next time. Adios. Hey Rockstars, it's your girl Beth. I know that you guys are used to me coming at you with some reviews for different products, but this is actually something that I really want to more talk about. Uh, it's called Rest More. We all know that I am on the go all the time with kids, with my job, with different things I have going on in my social life. And when I come home and want to hit the pillow, I want to go to sleep and I want to sleep sound. And that's what I get with Rest More. Uh, it mellows me out, chills me out, makes me super relaxed and then I gradually go into a deep sleep faster than you would normally. And basically that creates for me a more intense deep sleep where I'm able to achieve a much better feeling when I wake up. Um, it's not addictive. Uh, it just helps me create healthy sleep patterns. Um, and that's what I need in my life, my crazy chaotic life that I have. Um, you know, I know I use it. 
I know Adam and Sean use it, and, and we live by it because we're always on the go. So if you get a chance, give it a whirl. Um, look at the link below and try it out. Again, this is Beth with Rockstar Reviews. See you later.